Hello and welcome to Encrypted Inc. I'm your host Dan and I uh, run this channel called Encrypted Inc. to decrypt everything uh, crypto and ASX for you. So what I'm going to talk about today is Ethereum and ADA and what I'm going to talk about is I guess where we're at at this particular time. You might have seen my ridiculously funny or not funny video that I uh, posted recently about this. What is that? BTC and ETH. They're very large whales. They've had a feed. So I'm going to explain this because people don't understand it. But that's okay. Let's do it. So what have I told you before about what happened in the past? So we went through a massive period back here where institutions Hedge funds, large whales were getting into crypto. They were buying it all up in here. Then what happened in this particular point here? Well, there was a, a lot of talk about an improvement to Ethereum, and it was called the London Hard Fork. This was the actual uh, – well, basically, they, they bought in early here, and then the London Hard Fork took place – and then it rose up again here. And now we're starting to see a tapering off here. No surprises there. It's an improvement. So you pretty much bought the rumor back there. Well, that's what a lot of institutions, I'm sure, did. And, you know, whales and hedge funds, they would have bought the rumor there. And it took place here. And look what we see, another, you know, sharp increase in price. What are we seeing now? It's a tapering off. Look, you can see it. We were sort of channeling upwards, but then we went into this sideways channel here and then we dip back down and there was a press release here uh, about Jack Dorsey potentially putting um, a smart contracts platform specifically for Bitcoin, okay? That hasn't happened just yet, but that has had an increase in the price just here. Right, so mm, people have been asking me, oh, should I, should I buy... Bitcoin or Ethereum right now. I'm going to be very clear on this, guys. And this is not investment advice. Not right now. Why? Because if you look at this channel that we were heading up in and then how we dipped into this other channel here, at, especially at this for me as a charts guy, this particular point here is going to be pivotal because what will happen, all the people, large institutions, even retail investors that got in back here, look at the gains they're going to see from this point way down here when they got in at such a cheap price. All right, let's go further back. I know my computer's slow and I do apologise, but look, Way back here, if you bought in right here and you saw this massive run and the price has started, it's just human nature, and the price is going to start tapering off here, what are you going to do? You're going to sell. Why are you going to sell? Because you can get a good selling price up here. And if institutions and hedge funds and even retail investors who got back in there start selling up here, what do you think is going to happen to the price, it'll most likely start dipping down into maybe this channel and then it might bounce around here and it might even get in to another channel depending on, you know, the volume of how, how much people are selling off. So it even could dip down here, it could go even further down. So my advice is if you're the first time getting into crypto and you only know or have heard of Bitcoin or Ethereum, just wait and be patient. And just look at maybe something along the lines at this particular point here. Because right now, it, it hasn't sort of gone back up into an upward trend. It's sort of just channeling sideways. And if it dips below these particular points here, it will potentially start dipping even further below, uh, putting it very simply. So, I mean, to give you an idea, what's that? We're at probably approximately, well, we're at 45073 Australian dollars. I mean, if that starts dipping below down here to 44000 let's just say, over at this point here, 44, 000, 4, sorry, 4,432, and then further drops down here, 4,119, or even this, this particular level here, if you bought in way back there, 
you're starting to see a downward in a downwards channel in price. And people who bought back in there, they're going to think, well, you know, time's time to sell, time to take your profits, time to take your gains, which I've been telling people from the start of this channel, take your gains as you go. Okay. So what could be a catalyst if that potentially happens? And it might not. I mean, you know, institutions and whales may get in, get to a point in this upward channel here and then, you know, get back in on it. My personal opinion, not financial advice, is this might, most likely is not going to happen, not financial advice. Okay, so then what do you think? What's the future for Ethereum? What's the future for Bitcoin? What could maybe spur another bull run or, you know, upward trend in the market? Well, do your research. What's happening on Ethereum? Um, let's have a look. Ethereum 2.0. We're not there yet. We've just had the London hard fork. That's one step to Ethereum 2.0. So I'm going to go through for people that may not know what Ethereum 2.0. I'm just going to put it very simple because I want to keep my videos nice and short. But basically, Ethereum 2.0 uh, is launch. It, it basically launches to, or when it launches, it's going completely away from proof of work consensus protocol. Now, to put this very simply for new listeners. It's instead of using a GPU mine or an ASIC mine, which takes up a lot of power and, you know, has to solve all the puzzles to ensure the transactions go to where they're meant to be or the data to go to where they're meant to be, they're changing that to a proof of stake. And in doing the change to proof of stake, it eliminates the, the need for massive GPU rigs or even ASIC miners, which take up a lot of power. And unfortunately, and you know, I'm not, I'm not against miners. I think they've done a great job. I mean, in the inception, this is what helped create crypto. Um, but we're moving away from that, from, you know, power hungry computers, I guess, putting it simply solving puzzles, um, to, allow the network to operate, allow, you know, the data to go to where it's meant to be, okay? So this is going to be a huge thing. When it when Ethereum 2.0, even prior to it actually launching, most likely will have an effect on the price of Ethereum prior to it because the rumour, and this is where news comes into it, that it's going to happen, it's going to launch, people will buy into that, institutions, Retail investors, hedge funds, they're all going to buy into the rumor. When it actually launches, it'll probably show another potential price increase from that point in time. Will there be a tapering off again? Probably most likely. Um, we've seen it before, and I just showed you in the chart with the London hard fork. Um, so that's that's a theory. I mean, and then what's what could be a catalyst for BTC? Well, Jack Dorsey is trying to launch a smart contracts platform specific for Bitcoin, not Ethereum. So it's its own network using Bitcoin. So use cases for Bitcoin, such as DeFi, I don't know, wallets, um, anything to gaming, NFTs, gaming. I mean, you know, the metaverse is moving so fast, it, it could be anything. But basically, it's building on a, a building a smart contracts platform specifically for Bitcoin. Whereas Ethereum, you use Ethereum, allows you to get into the Ethereum network and has uses within the Ethereum network because it's a smart contracts platform. Okay, uh, just something else I just want to quickly highlight is Cardano. Um, they're launching their smart contracts platform um, on the 12th of September. It's not the 12th of the September yet. Cardano was traveling in a sideways channel here. They had a bit of a run up here, yes, but now they've actually hit a bit of a high, exiting that channel, as you can see, from, this, from the lows and highs within the channel. 
Is this people buying in the rumor for Cardano to launch the smart contracts platform? Potentially, yes, not investment advice. Will Cardano's price increase in the future? Not investment advice, potentially, but yeah, maybe. Um, so look, that's all I'm just going to talk about today, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Thanks very much for all the positive feedback that I have been receiving, the thumbs up, the, you know, love what you do. I really appreciate it, guys. Look, I'm just putting information out there for you. This is not financial advice. This is just what I do. I am a full-time ASX crypto trader and investor. So I'm just going to share what I have to you, but it's up to you to do your own research, please, and do your own charting. If you if you do this, you have to look at charts constantly. I am constantly looking at charts. I'm constantly looking at news. I am constantly trying to find out what improvements are being made in various cryptos and what effect that they may have on the price. That's investing to a T. You find out what's going on and what effect it may have on a price. Or is there an improvement? Is it going backwards? Is there a government saying something about it that's not good or that may affect the price? You know, government regulation, they don't want it. They don't want it in their country. Okay, what's that going to do? If it's heavily connected to a particular country, then it'll have an effect on the price. Um, so thank you very much. Um, I haven't had much sleep. I've had probably three hours sleep. Um, but look, thank you for tuning in. Um, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. The more this gets out, the more content I can make, the better I can make this. I might even be able to make it into something, into a studio or anything like that. That would be amazing. Um, even if it's just for like half an hour a day. Um, thank you so much. Um, shout out to Perth, Crip, uh, Perth uh, Crypto Group and Kevin Kevin. Uh, thank you so much. You're a legend. I look forward to meeting you very shortly. Um, shout out to Perth Crypto Crew. Love what you guys do and the information that you provide on your Facebook group. Uh, couldn't make it to the um, summit here in Perth, the crypto summit. Uh, unfortunately, I had my kids that day. Not so unfortunate, though. I love my kids. So, um, yes. So hopefully I'll make it to the next one, um, which would be great. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, God bless. And I'll see you very shortly.